When I got children of my own, when my daughter came along, I thought, right, time to have a trampoline. And uh, my wife said, no, they're too dangerous. I did a bit of research and I found that, yes, trampolines were dangerous, causing a lot of injuries uh, around New Zealand in particular. And so I thought, well, as an engineer, maybe I can do something about this. Keith was the first guy to create some kind of a radical departure from the original traditional trampoline design. What Keith designed is safer, so it removes, you know, statistically we now know it removes about 85% of the injury risk. For every 16 spring freeze that are installed in backyards around the world, one kid stays out of accident and emergency. I knew nothing about commercialization, so when I started in the commercial part of it, I, I thought I'd be pretty happy with getting 30 or 40 trampolines sold in New Zealand a year. And uh, now we're selling 40,000 of them a year and the business is growing. It's pretty exciting to, to drive down the road in somewhere like Toronto and see one in somebody's backyard. Taking an idea to a company and working with them is like a marriage. It's a long-term thing. There are large numbers of people employed in Gisborne and Christchurch producing components every week that are containerized and shipped to China. Actual factory that produces the trampolines now, even though that's based in Dongguan, China, it's owned by Spring Free New Zealand. We've been able to sustain that uh, and justify that investment based on the fact that Keith Alexander was prepared to effectively underwrite the technical uh, expertise that was required to set that manufacturing facility up. My idea to make a safer trampoline, uh, it wasn't to make money, it was really to get safer trampolines out there so parents could have a choice and could choose something that's safer and kids could have fun without injuring themselves.